Today I am finally making Amy's Hawaiian sweet rolls. Amy over at Carnivore's Angel took the internet by storm with her Hawaiian sweet roll, roll recipe back in November and I've gotten tons of people telling me how incredible they are and I haven't done the recipe exactly yet and actually today I'm going to be doing one little tweak but I'm going to try to get it as close as possible but I am super excited about finally trying them. I have used her ice cream scooper technique before on some other recipes and I've struggled with it and I finally think I've figured out a way to make it work half decently and it actually came from a couple of tips from you guys from commenters helping me out. And so I'm gonna be sharing that when I get to that point in the recipe. The one little tweak I'm gonna be making to the recipe is instead of using the one teaspoon of xanthan gum that she calls for, I'm gonna replace that with two teaspoons of gelatin. And that's just because xanthan gum and I do not get along, uh, but gelatin seems to be a really good substitute. And um, my body likes gelatin a lot more than it likes xanthan gum. I have her recipe all printed out here. I'll just go over the ingredients real fast. Egg white powder, and then the recipe calls for one cup of liquid egg whites, like fresh egg whites. And so what I'm gonna do, since it also calls for five egg yolks, is I'm going to uh, separate these and use the whites from these eggs and make up whatever difference I need to make one cup with some liquid egg whites. Then I'm gonna use the gelatin, like I mentioned, some salt and some pineapple extract. I got this from Olive Nation. I love their extracts. I'm excited to try it. Allulose cream of tartar, a little bit of yeast. In her recipe, she calls for quick rise yeast and I don't have quick rise yeast, I just have the active dry. So hopefully that will not make too much of a difference. And then the last ingredient here is nutritional yeast. First thing I'm gonna do is separate all of my eggs. One of my yolks broke when I cracked the egg, so I will save that for another time. That made a little over three quarters of a cup, so I'm just gonna to top it off to one cup with my cartoned egg whites. That looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna set both of these aside and do the dry ingredients. To the bowl, I'm adding one half cup of egg white powder, which is 40 grams. So close. One third of a cup of allulose two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And if you've watched my other egg bread videos, you might know that I don't love nutritional yeast in my egg bread, or at least the ones that I've tried, but I really wanna give this recipe a chance, um, you know, as close to as written as possible. So I'm putting that in and hoping for the best. One eighth of a teaspoon of yeast, two teaspoons of cream of tartar, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt and doing the two teaspoons of gelatin, unflavored gelatin in place of the xanthan gum. Gonna give that a quick whisk. And now I'm gonna add in my one cup of egg whites and one fourth of a teaspoon of pineapple extract and it smells absolutely amazing. Just gonna let the all the powder get moistened up here before I start the mixer. Before I start the mixer, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 325. Gonna beat on high until stiff peaks form. All right, that looks pretty stiff to me. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the five egg yolks, turning my mixer on to medium speed. Gonna give this beautiful yellow batter a quick stir with the spatula to get everything really mixed in. So now onto my tips on how to do the ice cream scoop. First off is I got a new ice cream scoop. 
The other one that I had, I don't know if the little scraper in there was not great quality or what, but this one works way better. Um, so I will put the link down to this brand down below. I did want to mention that this is, I think it's a six tablespoon. And Amy says in her recipe that the one she uses is a fourth of a cup, which is four tablespoons. So this is a little bit bigger. I'm sure you could get one in the same brand that's a fourth of a cup, but there is that difference there. The second tip from one of you guys that commented was to cover it with coconut oil rather than spraying it. And that seemed to make a really big difference for me. The coconut oil, you know, sticks to it for longer, I think. And so I didn't have to like spray it in between every single scoop or anything like that. I only had to put the coconut oil over the scoop once, which was really nice. And the oven is preheated. So I'm just gonna rub the coconut oil all over the scoop inside and out. Ooh, I'm dropping coconut oil. And I'll moisturize my hands while we're at it. As per the instructions, I'm going to spray my pan. I'm using a silicone liner here. Now, Amy did rows of four. Um, this, since this is a bigger scoop, I'm gonna just play it by ear and see what happens. I'm gonna try to get four across. Oh, I just love it when they come out so beautiful. I really struggled getting a beautiful ice cream scoop going. Maybe Amy got 24. I'll have to go back and look at her video. Because maybe she got six rows of four rather than four rows of four. Yeah, that makes more sense. I think I'm going to be able to get four rows of four to make a total of 16. Just barely was able to eke out 16. All right, this last one doesn't want to come out. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Ah. All right, we'll have one gimpy one. Into the oven these go for 15 minutes, and then she says to turn off the oven and let the oven sit for another 15 minutes before you open it and pull them out. 15 minute cook time finished, so I am stopping the oven and turning on another timer for another 15 minutes. Ah! Can't talk and do things at the same time. The 15 minute timer is up and look at how beautiful these are. Oh my goodness. Except for my ridiculously gimpy one, but they look so good and they smell absolutely amazing. Gotta take the thumbnail the right way. If you make these, you have to do the thumbnail this way. It's a rule. Definitely time to taste one. I let them cool just a little bit, but they're still warm. Oh my goodness. They come away so nicely. They're so yellow. Let's do it right before you here. That's what the inside looks like. Yum. Mm. Soft and doughy. Definitely passed the mushability test. Mm. I'm still not a huge fan of the nutritional yeast in the bread, and I know I'm weird because so many people love it. But the extra sweetness of the Hawaiian rolls, I think it cuts down on the nutritional yeast flavor a little bit. So it's, it's not bad. If I were to make these again, I probably would either reduce the nutritional yeast down to a tablespoon or omit it. But... I know I'm weird. They're so really good. They just like melt in your mouth. There's no chokiness whatsoever. Amy definitely hit a home run on these. I have a little hint of the um, pineapple extract with the brand that I used. Maybe it's not as strong as others, but I would probably up the pineapple extract to a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. But different extracts have different you know, power, <laughs> different strength. And um, so for that one, I would probably up it a little bit. Very, very good. In her recipe, she says, once you take it out of the oven and let it cool, you have to eat the whole pan. So, I mean, I like to follow instructions, so I'm definitely gonna be doing that.
I definitely rate this recipe 10 thumbs up. So head over to Carnivore's Angel, Amy Carnivore's Angel. I will put a link in the description and up in the cards. It's also a great option if you wanna use uh, fresh eggs because you use five yolks in it as well as the fresh egg whites. And I know a lot of people want to minimize the amount of egg white powder that they use because it is expensive or you can't get it easily in a lot of places. So this is a great option um, if you want to use those fresh eggs. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Amy for the amazing recipe. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will see you again in another video. I went back and looked at um, Amy's video and I think by looking at it, she had a smaller pan that she used as well as a smaller scoop, like I said. So between those two things, she was able to get 24 smaller Hawaiian buns, which is why I could only get 16.